Hello, I'm Alice Smith. My background is in psychology and psychometrics, and I work in the outcomes research team at York Health Economics Consortium. The first webinar in this series provided a brief introduction to patient reported outcome measures. In this webinar, we'll be discussing the uses of problems in healthcare. So let's discuss problems in healthcare. Let's recap quickly on the first webinar in this series and consider what it is that problems capture. Problems capture any report from the patient or service user about their health status, that is, symptoms and functioning, as well as their experiences, satisfaction with, and preferences for healthcare services. These reports come directly from the patient without any intervention or interpretation from the patient's healthcare providers, family, or any other individuals. Now that we know what PROMs capture, we can go on to discuss the reasons for wanting to collect PROM data. PROMs can be considered as a way of improving quality of care and involving patients or service users in their own care management. In some instances, these self-reports are the only way of measuring patient well-being or symptoms, and so it makes sense to do this in a standardised, reliable and validated way, similar to how other assessments are carried out in the health service. PROMs are almost routinely included in clinical trials and often feature in clinical research to help determine the impact of an intervention, for instance from the patient's perspective. In addition to this, there are two broad areas where PROM data may be beneficial to and help inform healthcare practitioners and service commissioners. These are patient and healthcare professional interactions and healthcare service configuration, such as quality improvement, benchmarking and service redesign. These two topics will be the focus of this webinar. Patient and healthcare provider interactions. PROMs can be used at an individual service user level during consultations, for example for screening purposes, or to inform treatment decisions, or to facilitate monitoring of progress. Examples of where PROMs can be used include involving patients in decision making, for instance regarding their medication, as well as monitoring their health over time. Patient and healthcare provider interactions. The benefits of collecting and feeding back PROM scores to service users and clinicians during a consultation can include improved doctor-patient communication and concordance, improved detection and management of conditions, improved patient outcomes, and greater patient satisfaction with care. For example, research has demonstrated that routine symptom monitoring using PROMs improves patients' quality of life and reduces unplanned visits and admissions to hospital, as well as increasing the frequency of discussion of symptoms without increasing consultation time. Healthcare service configuration. The use of PROM data in healthcare service configuration may take several guises. For instance, PROMs can be used to capture patients' experiences of their medical, surgical and nursing care, and the services they receive. One example of the routine collection of patient experience data is the NHS PROMS program where these data are being collected alongside PROM data to assess aspects of surgery, such as degree of success, healing and so on, from the patient's perspective. One method in particular that is being used increasingly to capture patient preferences for the healthcare services they receive are discrete choice experiments, sometimes also referred to as conjoint analysis. These studies enable patient preferences, for instance for the type of diagnostic service they receive, to be elicited without being explicitly asked. Data like these may be used to help inform healthcare commissioners about how to shape and reconfigure the services provided to patients. Finally, PROM data can be aggregated across a service or trust and used for benchmarking, highlighting variability in practice to stimulate quality improvement activities. One novel approach to using aggregated PROM data to measure healthcare services is the PRO-based performance measure, which effectively combines PRO measures and performance measures. With PRO performance measures, a metric is selected based on an outcome that is important to and derived from patients, and which can then be used to measure hospital performance. As an example, the success of new anti-emetic regimens in an oncology clinic could be evaluated against the number of cancer patients recording a given decrease in a score on a PRO measure for nausea and vomiting. Aggregated individual PROM data can therefore be used to provide a measure of how well a healthcare service is performing. In this seminar, I have given you a brief overview of the use of PROMs and PROM data in healthcare services, and I have shown you how these can impact for the positive on both individual patients as well as at an aggregated level on the healthcare system itself.